What the One Church model does is it honors uh, the mission that a local church is undertaking where God has planted it. Uh, and if there's a consensus about uh, something as complex as human sexuality, uh, relationships with LGBTQ persons, if there's a consensus, we honor that church to work out that consensus. And, um, and it doesn't force local churches to vote unless they want to. It simply honors the traditions that are already in place while also giving persons in the LGBTQ community and their families and friends a spiritual home. The One Church model just, to me, casts a bigger tent, if you will, and it allows us to interpret in our own context what that means in our, in our places, whether you are in Mississippi or whether you are in the Pacific Northwest. It allows you to provide some context. It's, in my opinion, probably the least exclusionary um, and the most potential for inclusion for a lot of diverse thinking. I know that that doesn't answer uh, the full inclusion for a lot of people. It makes it difficult for those who um, really take a strong stance on their theological convictions on the issue of homosexuality. And I think this model gives you space. I am a bishop of the whole church. And what I have discovered in uh, 18 years of being a bishop is that there is rich ministry happening in very different contexts. I work to honor that. I think what the One Church model does is it gives us a way to continue to honor the value of the ministry that's happening in many, many different contexts, different cultural contexts. We just believe that the power of God uh, has a tremendous capacity to hold us together to fulfill His mission. Uh, and yes, we have differences, uh, and yes, we at times we have conflict, whether it's in a local church or a denomination, and yet we believe in the power of the Holy Spirit to make us one. Recommendations have been given to the General Conference. No decision has been made. So stay calm and carry on uh, in the life and mission of the church. I think our hard work is between now and February uh, as things uh, really progress, as we have conversations in our annual conferences, uh, and how do we present uh, the results of our recommendations uh, in a way that is, again, faithful to the work that the bishops did this week, where I'm not there with my own private mission, uh, but the public mission of the church. I believe God wants the United Methodist Church to continue to be a unique uh, Wesleyan expression of, of how we transform the world. I believe God's heart has been one that, that says, I want my people who have come out of the Wesleyan tradition to keep doing the good work you're doing.